Universe of NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. With Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce is our reporter. And Grant, these teams both stacked in the front court. Stacked indeed, PA. The versatility demanded in today's game, revolutionizing those positions. Now, it's not enough to just control the paint. You've got to do more. Now here's Collins. Outside Young. Hunter on the wing. Takes the three. That one doesn't drop. Now Orlando takes it the other way. Anthony outside. Here's Carter. And Collins with the big block. Pass to Suggs. Another shot. And he lays it in. Easy look provided by Wendell Carter Jr. Always helps when your bigs can share the rock. Outside Young. Now Collins. He's guarded by Anthony. Five to shoot. Oh, it's blocked. It deflects off the backboard. And Collins with the slam. We played just over a minute here in the first. Down low. Here's Carter. The shot off that time. Excellent D there from Collins. You know, Grant, it seems like Collins is one of those guys you can depend on for a 2010 stat line just about every night. Yeah, he's a double-double machine. He's as consistent as they come offensively, and with his hustle, his rebound numbers are never lagging. Tipped. And here's Herter. Outside Hunter. Pass to Capella. And it's Capella with the jam. Boy, he's a powerful presence with great length. Capella can make things happen inside for sure. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Trey Young. That's his first foul of the game. First team foul. Now here's Wagner. And the call is going to be, yes, on an illegal screen. Well, the league has put an emphasis to crack down on illegal screens. Yeah, you know, he might have gotten away with that a few years ago, but not anymore. No way. Now you've got to be stationary on those screens. No extra hips or elbows or they'll call it. There's Young with the three. And Capella gets it to go. Nice recognition that time from Capella. Aggressively rolling to the bucket after setting the screen. Back to Anthony. Pass to Carter. Here's the three. Hits the three-pointer. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. Carter with it. Now Carter defending. Collins inside. Over Suggs. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. Boy, great timing and awareness there from Bamba. He sends shots away on the daily. Not the best of shot selection there, but you know what? You do not look a gift horse in the mouth. And Young, here we go. Now here's Hunter. Fade away. Here's Capella. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. To the paint. And it's Bamba finishing strong. Boy, I tell you, Bamba's wingspan and his standing range is ridiculous. This dude was born to throw it down. Now here's Young. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Outside Hunter. Six to shoot. And it's Collins penetrating. Will it go? And it's good on the lay-in. <laughs> the contact wasn't going to hold Collins down. He explodes into it and finds the shot. Drives to the hoop. Pass to Wagner. No good on the three. 
The Hawks trailing. To the middle. And stolen by Bamba. In transition. Here they come. Oh, a rim rattling two-handed jam. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. What? You mean the throwdown at the end? I'll tell you what, fellas. I mean, the highlight shows are going to pain them even more. Pass to Capella. Here's Young. It's Herter on the wing. From outside, off the mark. Half to the outside. So, at the end of one quarter of play, still a close game. Magic out in front. They lead by three. Good action already in this one. But a fairly even matchup after this first quarter of play. All right, guys, what do you think about the magic here in this one? It's simple. The main takeaway from the first quarter is they're winning this game with defense. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you look at the energy, the effort defensively. They put it all out there in that opening quarter. Orlando leading. The three from Suggs. Hunter with the rebound. And here are the Hawks now. After a deep collegiate championship run, Jalen Suggs looks so ready for the pressures of league play. Oh, he's got ice in his veins for sure. Taking his college team to the finals with a buzzer-beating three-pointer, that kind of grit will serve him well in the NBA. And it's going to be a goaltending call here, so they will count the bucket. I mean, he had the right idea, but his timing was just a little off, and it resulted in a goaltend. Here's Suggs. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That one on Young. And there's always been dialogue between NBA officials and the coaches and players. Some concern that it's gotten too chippy of Lake Clark. It's not a good look. No, it's not a good look. And you certainly have to recognize the fact that both sides are humans and emotions are going to run hot at times. Uh, the league has rules about how you engage in the officials. I think you should actually have some give and take. It should be toned down from what it has been recently. And he knocks down the first one. You've got to applaud Trey Young's hustle out there on the floor. I mean, he plays a lot of minutes, but he maintains a high energy level all game long. So he makes one of two, and the second one misses. One place you really see Trey Young's work ethic shine through is on the offensive end of the floor with his assist number. Yeah, Young does everything he can to create for his guys. He's a selfless player who wants everyone to get involved. And he's got a real talent for problem-solving defenses and finding ways to get his guys good looks. Inside. Here's Collins. Back to Herter. To the inside. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. Magic ball. Now Fultz. Pass to Isaac. Inside. Here's Lopez. Outside for Fultz. Six on the shot clock. Shoots over Collins. And the Magic again can't hit. And here's the fast break. And the ball out of play. The Magic will have it. And so here is Orlando. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. Stolen by Young. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Isaac. Fultz with it. Looking for his first basket still in this one. His first, second team foul. Here's Lopez. Here's Isaac. And the dunk by Isaac. Hard not to love the combo of speed and length on Isaac. I mean, that gives him a chance to 
give you some serious throwdowns. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Hey, Brian. The Hawks went on a tear last season after naming Nate McMillan their interim head coach. After he won Eastern Conference Coach of the Month and helped guide them to the franchise's first playoff run in four seasons, it seemed inevitable that he'd become the head coach long term. Guys? Nothing new for him, Allie. Good stuff there. Young from long range. That shot, no good. And Orlando the other way now. Harris outside. Pass to Isaac. Back to Harris. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. Atlanta with a rebound. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. The they could really use a basket. Assist goes to Bogdan Bogdanovich. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the second quarter. From deep three-point range, Collins with the rebound. <laughs> the battle of the boards has been something to watch. Yeah, tit for tat on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game here. Clock at six. Here's Hunter. Oh, it's blocked by Lopez. Pass to Ross. One oh seven left in the first half of this one. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. I'll tell you what, you have to be excited about Jonathan Isaac. Whenever he's on the floor, he makes an impact on both ends of the court. You know, the main thing for Jonathan Isaac is his health. Seems like whenever he gets healthy, he ends up getting hurt again. Guy's been through a lot. He's had to battle through a number of injuries. Yeah, I mean, it's obviously frustrating for him, I'm sure. But he's still got youth on his side. So here's hoping he can remain healthy and reach his potential. Oh, stolen by Fultz. And that's two fouls for him so far. But I still think he needs to stay aggressive. That free throw, no good. Yeah, they're playing a much more physical game here in the second quarter. Boy, it certainly appears to be the case. I mean, they've spent a lot of time at the foul line this quarter, and that's the result of attacking the rim and being physical. Right with the ball. Now Carter defending. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Carter. Forty-one seconds left in the first half. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Bogdan Bogdanovich. That's his first foul of the game. We're in the bonus now. And they'll go to the line. And he makes a first. Both shots good from the strike. The Hawks trailing. Right on the left side. To the paint. Here's a Kongwu. Some solid defense from Bamba. Everything right except the finish. You have to keep focused all the way through the play. From downtown. And Fultz gets a three. And the Magic lead by ten. You know, it's one thing to have a nice stroke, but it's another to understand how to get yourself free outside the arc for your shot. Has a soft, delicate stroke, does Fultz. And it rolls off his fingers nicely. And so it's Orlando earning this break in the action. Up 10. A big difference in shooting percentages. That's why they lead. We'll be right back with you shortly. And if you just join it in, one half is in the books. One half to go. Here's Anthony. And Anthony slams it in. And he just driving the stake in him there. He's a guy who just never lets up. And that's terribly demoralizing for a defense, guys. I mean, they know he's going to keep coming and coming and coming and that they may not have an answer for. There's Bogdanovich with the three. And it's the Magic with the ball. 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. Carter, good. No stopping Wendell Carter there. Powers past the defender and gets it to go. To the wing, right side. Outside, Gallinari. It's right on the wing. And 
and that one's good. Yeah, Wright does a nice job sizing up the defense and cashing in. Very comfortable in the pick and roll. Here's Anthony. Rejected by a Kongwu. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Magic will retain possession. A little over a minute gone here in the second half. Out to Anthony. Just five to shoot. Here's Carter. He can't get it to go. And Atlanta will go the other way with it. Pass to Gallinari. Right outside. This one for three. Nails it from beyond the arc. Wright's got five. Now that is huge when Wright is connecting from deep. It really spreads the floor for him and his teammates. Three-pointer, Anthony. And again, it's Orlando with a three. It's turned into a showdown here. Dueling from distance. Looks to me like there could be something personal taking place here. And here's Bogdanovich. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Oh, yeah. That'll do it. Wow, an emphatic two-handed slam. I tell you what, if he's got a few more of those in him, this lead will really start shrinking. You know, by the time Bogdan Bogdanovich arrived in the NBA, he was already a well-seasoned pro, Grant. Yeah, he had an impressive run in a number of European leagues, amassing a ton of awards and championships. So he definitely knew what he was getting into when he came stateside to play with the rest of the best. And if they're going to make a move, this is a good time to start. And, and there's still plenty of time, but they definitely don't want to let this game get too far out of hand. Long way. And the shot goes down. Showing off tremendous handles right, confusing the defenders and scoring the basketball, too. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. Really quite cool to see Cole Anthony out there living his NBA dream and obviously his dad, Greg, a good player in his own day, but also a part of the NBA 2K family, giving you commentary at a high level. But Cole's a tremendous talent himself, the 15 overall pick in the 2020 draft. And it's the magic with the ball. Pass to Suggs. South Hogner. Here's Bamba. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. And the Magic lead by 10. Clark, you see any similarities between Cole and his dad, Greg? I do. There's a toughness, a grittiness to both of them. Um, clearly, he's a little better athlete, but that typically is a generational thing in most cases. Uh, really solid player, smart, good locker room guy. All attributes that his dad had, but... Heck, both were top 15 picks. I don't know too many households that can make that claim, so that's pretty impressive, this point guard. Down low. Here's Okiki. Tries yet again. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. The top 10 pick in the 2018 draft, Mohamed Bamba. Mo Bamba, for short, is a terrific athlete. And has a great work ethic, too. A minute four left in the third quarter. All right, let's get a report from Allie. Well, Jonathan Isaac making his return from that knee injury he suffered in the bubble. Through the grueling rehab, he kept hope, kept the faith, and kept working to come back strong. He said it revealed another level of grit and grind inside of him. And guys, he's determined to come back better than ever. Thanks, Allie. And it's good. Two points. Capella's got six. Sheer power there from Capella. Not an easy guy to contain when he's going up with the shot. There's Fultz with a three. They get the rebound. Here's Bamba. Young with the defensive effort. Here's Atlanta with the ball. Eight-point game. Here's Collins. Oh, it's blocked by Bamba. And so it looks like it'll be Atlanta's ball. ball. 
And Atlanta has possession. Now here's Capella. Six points for him. Uses the glass on the layup. Capella's got four points in the quarter. They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. Here's Collins. Right side, Young. From the arc. Oh, it would have counted had it fallen, but it is offline. And so it's Orlando. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. The Hawks trailing. Outside Herter. And he converts the layup. Herter's got his first points in this one. After a poor offensive first half, some nice adjustments made by the staff, and their shooting percentage is climbing. And he lobs it up to the rim! And the slam dunk by Capella. Oh, I like how Capella stays one step ahead of the posse on defense. Has a real good sense of body control. To the middle. Out of bounds. Atlanta will have it. Atlanta with the ball. Trailing by two. Oh, stolen by Fultz. For three, here's Harris. That shot missing. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Hunter with the ball. Fultz picks him up. Left side, Young. Outside Herder to take the lead. Over to the wing. Shot clock at six. Collins goes in. Here's Capella. Kicks it out to Collins. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. It's clear he's totally out of sync. The team needs to rethink his strategy around what to do with him. Here's Fultz, plenty of space. Off the left rim and out. Every player goes through this. When your shots aren't going down, it can ding your confidence. The kick to Hunter. To tie it up! And the jumper is on the mark. And that makes it a tie ball game. Nice passing instincts from Young. Quickly moving the ball to a guy with a wide open look. Ooh, a clear look for Ross. And the Magic, again, can't hit. He has to make that one. I mean, you have to make the defense pay when they slough off of you like that. Outside Young. And he's going for the lob. And Collins with the slam. You want to take away the shooting of Young, but in the pick and roll, Trey can dish it effectively. Who poked away. Stolen by Collins. Young from long range. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Young. Orlando making some changes. Substitution for your magic. Now Anthony to the paint. Looking to win the drop. And it's slammed in by Carter. Great job by Carter Jr. to turn up his intensity and knock down the big shot. No fear there. His nimbleness makes him a unique threat at the rim. Orlando trailing here. And the call will be against John Collins. That's his third foul of the game. 156 left in the fourth quarter here. Right wing. It's Ross on the wing. Back to Anthony. Here's Bamba. Can't hit that one. Excellent D there from Capella. Out of 
of bounds. It's going to be Orlando's ball. Just horrible timing for this team. That mistake could spell disaster. Minute 32 left in the fourth quarter. It's Anthony on the take. Yep, that one goes. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. There's Young with the three. Drops in the three. And the Hawks lead by three. You see the trust Young's guys have in him. When they need a bucket, he gets it for them. There's 57 seconds left in the fourth quarter here. Six on the shot clock. The Hawks need to get one up here. Herter can't hit. Oh, Gallinari with a steal. Grant, they'd love to milk the clock here. No question. They're in a great situation right here. Young, Young with the bucket. And this is why Young is a go-to guy. He can get it done even under the toughest circumstances. Here's Suggs. Pass to Anthony. Harder on the wing. Six to shoot. Over Herder. Here's Bamba. Hey, rejected by Capella. Outside Young. From deep. So this one belongs to the Hawks. This was a hard fought. Well, -earned. 